Welcome to another enjoying art watercolor lesson. Today we're going to paint this very moody beach scene. For our member of enjoyingart.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold hair. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. Let's do a little composition. This is, would be the main object standing right in the middle of the page here. I'm going to take a look. I'm just going to take a very, a very light any color that will be fine. I'm going to put it over here now. So it's standing right in the middle over here. All right, you can use um, graphite pencils to do the drawing if you feel more comfortable. And I'm going to put that, the head will be here. The top of the ocean, the line would be from here all the way to the other side. At this point, it's just make up your mind. The reference is one thing. But what you want to do with the reference, that is a totally a creative decision. Okay. So I'm going to make this person even a little bit smaller at the end. So I'm going to use this flat brush. I'm going to actually use it as an eraser to soften it. That's it's fine. That's good. All right, now we're going to start painting from the sky all the way to the bottom as the foundation color. Let's take a look. And at the top, it has a little gray color, very much just gray. I'm looking at the color that I have already on the paper. It looked like that. And next, a little bit more of that color. So it's just the red and with a little blue color. I'm going to have that over here. I mean, from here coming down on the side and the boat, very much the boat, the same color. And then I'm going to paint it into uh, the orange color. And now I'm going to change it with the red and the yellow color. Okay, these two colors together make a very bright orange color, a little bit more red. There you go. Just thinking about what color is it and what color you need it and how dark that color would be. Okay, here you go. And coming up over here, this color pretty bright. We'll connect with the other color that I already put it on. Now we're doing the wet into wet. And now I'm going to paint the blue color on the side. I'm going to take this winter blue green shade. Okay, like that. Even a little bit great. So get a little red color to it. That's good. Like that. Okay. On this side. Here you go. Now we try to create a mood for the painting. Okay. Now keep coming down over here and now to the beach. Now the beach first the foundation color have a little bit more like a brown color. So let's get the yellow color and the red color and a little bit more red. Now it should look like a brown. And coming all the way to the top over here. Let's leave a little light color 
and leave the light color over there. We can remove that with the large brush. Okay, now we have the foundation color. Now we want to change the color when it is wet. I'm gonna add a little bit, uh, the blue and the red color mix that to be, make the front over here a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. I'm going to take a look on the top. I'm going to use the flat brush. Now start lifting some color. I'm going to make this area a little bit lighter. Now let's see how easy to adjust the color. From the left to the right. All right, that's good already. And take a look at that from the left to the right. There you go. So if you don't have this setup brush, take a look at the Enjoying Art website. Go to the enjoyingart.com slash brushes. And I hope that you use the same tool and having the same fun with me. Okay, that's good. Now I prepared this lighter. That's good. We're gonna see how the background color is gonna look like. I'm gonna gradually building up the details. So no rush to the details at this point. At the front over here, now I'm gonna add uh, with the red and the Windsor Brew red shade. I'm gonna have this little color. I'm gonna let go most of the water. Just take the color again, make it a little bit, a little bit less water saturation. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little this mixture over here and all the way to the my hand side. Oh, this looks pretty interesting, right? And the front over here, this is very soft. I need to let go of some of the accumulated wet. Now at this point, I'm going to drop in some uh, texture, some little details at the front. I'm going to take, take to the red. Now I'm start using the uh, calligraphy brush. And here you go. I'm going to have a little bit darker color by mixing these two color together. Okay, now I'm going to tap a little bit, maybe a little bit more blue. Okay, make a little bit neutral. Okay, here you go. Okay, this is my first round. And then I'm going to use the tap, the two brush. Now I'm going to take a little color. Now also going to apply that to the front over here. There's a little texture. That's good. That's good. Now the paper already drive. Now on the top over here, we're gonna do a little adjusting. Okay. I decided to make a little bit more blue color. Just take the blue color, maybe this color a little bit too bright. I'm gonna take mix with this a little bit gray blue color together. And I'm gonna put in the top over here, take a look, and there's the top edge. Here you go. That's from here. So when you're doing the first round, you don't need to worry too much about it. Just come in closer and then come on this side. It's the same color. Like that. That's good. Coming in a little bit. Here you go. Now I'm going to modify the color by using a little brown color. Yeah, here you go. I'm going to have this color mix into uh, the color right on the paper like that. Just use the water, let it mix together. Now this color all the way coming to the middle over here, change the color. And it looks like a little bit more uh, purpleness color. So I'm gonna get a little bit blue with the red together like that. That's good. 
มาเดี๋ยวแล้วก็ติดมอกลูแบบนี้ coming over that's good now I'm gonna have this color a little bit softly connect together and I'm coming to the top over there I'm gonna have a little bit brighter orange color so I'm gonna take the yellow color here first and then I'm gonna put some red color into it okay so this color is very bright orange color together so if you want something really bright you can just mix it right on the paper okay that's good there you go now coming top and I have this a little gray color here you go softly coming to the top that's good now take a look at in the water over here it has some uh kind of orange color little gold orange color so i'm gonna take the little yellow color and i use the calligraphy brush now just add a little light yellow gold color like that and put it right in here and here you go now i'll put that color in here that's good we can leave the edge and we can pick, paint a little bit other uh, green color a little bit later. So put a little foundation color. That's good. Now we're starting adding more and more detail to it. Okay, now I'm gonna add this little purple color. Now here you go. Now come back here to the beach. Okay, one stroke. Let's do that to see how it look like. One stroke from left to the right. Looks really good. Like that and at this point I'm gonna add a little bit blue color a little blue shade color like right in here I'll put a little blue color over right there okay and a little bit lighter but you see the blue color actually is a shadow side that's the ocean okay that's good have that merge together that's okay have a little bit blue color coming on this side seeing the wave coming moving forward okay that's good now i'm going to do a, another wash right at the front over here so i'm gonna make it a little bit darker so let's get the red color with this purple color we already have the brown color and the foundation this is good so i'm gonna have this put it a little bit more Make a little bit more moody. Yeah, that's good. Like that. That's good. Now come up a little bit over here. Now we change it to a little bit, a little bit more blue color right over here. That's good. That connect with that color from the top. That's good. Look, think before you continue. Okay, like that. Now on the top over there, I'm going to make it a little bit brown color. So I take the uh, yellow and the red color coming over here. A little bit different. Maybe a little bit more red. There you go. Okay, like that. Continue. That's good. Now the color much better. think about if they're too much too much green in that case put some red color to it okay this is the red color now it look uh, a little bit warmer so now like that okay now the front looks much better now I'm going to put my hand into the water I'm going to do a little splash Now the foreground much more texture. I'm gonna wet this first. I'm gonna put a little bit more orange color. I'm gonna take the red with the yellow color together. A little bit more of this color. 
put it right here. But the color may be too dark. So I'm going to just use the water softly, blend that over. Okay. Now it has a beautiful orange color there. And on this side, I'm also going to have this bright yellow orange color and coming on the this direction like that it's very easy to adjust the color just use overlay wash put on the color on the top okay the top over there I'm gonna have a little red and the blue color a little bit more feeling of the purple brown color like that that's good now the sky already have two or three layers of color already now I'm going to start working into the suggestions for the clouds Hey, let me use my calligraphy brush. Take a look at the cloud. It's just the blue and the red color together. Okay. Think about how dark the color would be. And it doesn't need to be very dark, very dark. Okay, this should be good enough. The darkest color would be uh, in the main object in the person so I'm gonna start putting this color in here oh it looks like it need to be more blue okay put it right there okay like that a little bit lighter just the blue color start over here okay that's good have the color suggested from the side over here oh that's good now in the middle over here I also have this blue color just tap tap and drag it in. Okay, like that. And a little bit small shape in the middle over here. Like that. That's good. So I saw how, how easy to create those with wet into wet. And if you do that at the first time after the wash, it may not be come to the same look because I already have two or three layers of colors. And this is the additional on the top. So all they have the foundation color. It's pretty stable. Now that's good. In the middle over here, I'm going to put this little shape over there. Okay, like that. Maybe a little bit over here, like that. Okay, and I'm going to have this a little bit softly cutting to this piece of cloud. Like that, it has a motion. Okay, a little bit over here, like that, that's good. All right, now this guy has some interesting shape, suggestions to it. I'm gonna have this come out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting the areas for the ocean. Now let's take a look, uh, in this area, is the water colors are actually darker than uh, the sky. So I'm going to take a look at what's that color. This could be the color that I should. I'm going to take a look at what right here. Put that in here. Okay, like that. After I put this color a little bit darker, the shape underneath, it will look lighter. Right? Okay, like that. That's good. Now this color looks maybe not dark enough so i'm gonna take even more blue and red color okay like that there you go now it's much darker now come to the other side of the sky it also should be similar like that that's good now now some reflection in the middle over here. Now I'm going to start doing some organizing by using 
the one inch flat brush. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna start organize this. Okay. Just clear up the shape, lift it up. That's easy. And this color can connect that, make it a little bit softer. If you use a small brush or other brush, they're not the same here. It will not come to the same result. I'm gonna make this. Just lift it up to make it a little bit lighter. Oh, much better. That. Okay, now over here too. And softly connect them in. Okay, now it looks very good. And I'm gonna have this color softly connect that into the reflection. All right, now I'm gonna take a look at the front over here when I have the time. I'm gonna make this even a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take the blue color again. So your mind always travel around the entire painting, not just one little spot that you think is important because everywhere in the paintings, they are very, they're all important. They are composing the entire uh, composition. Okay, that's good. A little bit over here. I'm gonna make it a bit darker too. Using this large brush is very good to organize. And some way you don't want too much texture, very easy to remove the texture by using this brush. And some way need to be darker, the whole area need to be darker. It's very easy to do that with this brush. You see that how? A little effort that you that you really need. Okay, that's good. Now we come back to the water. And this is almost dry. That's already dry. Now I'm gonna come back with the calligraphy brush. Now take a look. They're looking at the bigger shape, not the small shape. Okay, I'm gonna take this blue color. And just a little color. Let's take a look in the middle over here. That's the shape for the water over here, the wave over there, like that. This brush is, is the tip is very easy to control. So it's giving you lots of con flexibility when you're doing the painting, okay, like that. And take a look. Now it's a little bit lighter, now coming over here. A little, now come to a little bit darker, a little details, like that. Now, and below here, now to get a little shape, observe, and coming again. That's suggested that is the shape of the water, but anyway, the light is so low, so that you see that the even the the way the water over here is still in the shadow side. Okay, like that. It's good. Now I show a little the water again. Okay, like that. Okay, now come back to this side. Okay, now I'm gonna have the water, the shadow, a little bit and coming from here, so a little bit more. Like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna keep a lot of details and the top over there too. And I'm gonna just use just a few thin line. That's good because this is a little in distance. And we're gonna give some details in this wave a little bit more. On the top over there, and I want to see whether or not this is ready. If this is still really wet, it, we have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, in the middle over there, I'm going to have a little bit blue color. Just use this tip of this brush. I'm going to just... That's good. 
give a little bit enough details. See that? That's nice. Okay. It's showing the ripple in the water. Okay, on this side, a lot of movement. Somewhere a little bit bigger, somewhere a little bit smaller. On this side too. Okay, and let's take a look at the water over here. I'm gonna take a little blue color. Give a little details. You see that? A little detail showing the different form in the water. Just pay attention to the shape. Shape has color, has value. And on this side, a little bit more blue. Okay, here you go. That. That's good. That's good. Showing the water. And on top over there, I'm going to have a little bit more orange color to help to separate these two areas. That's good. That's the reflection of the sun. Okay. Now I'm going to use the one inch flat brush and I'm going to come back here to do a little bit more lifting. I want this even lighter. Okay, let's take a look. I want this lighter. Just lift up a little color, make it lighter. That's good. And I'm gonna take that color all the way to the edge here, make that better connection. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to move my attention to um, to a little bit closer in the water. Now I want to add a little bit more uh, this yellow orange color into the area over here. I'm going to show that some reflection, a little bit more red. That's good, like that. Just tap on it. And the front here also have a little bit more uh, brown color. Okay, that's good. I'm going to take that a little bit of this brown color and have it in the front over here. Have a little bit showing the reflection on the beach. That's good. And the side have a little bit blue color. Here you go. Now, my mind and my eyes looking for smaller details, small relationship. Okay, like that. And uh, on this side, it need to be a little bit darker too. Okay, like this. That's good. Okay, now we'll come back to at the details to uh, the wave. I'm gonna come back over here, take a look at. Okay, that's good. A little bit details. You can see the wave over here, very interesting. Okay, you can get more and more details, and this brush can handle. Some very small shapes. Okay. Coming down here. Okay, good. Like that. A little bit more they add to it. It just 
شه چشته مونه more and more observation more and more details like that that's good now on this side a little bit darker here okay in the background I also going to have a little bit shape over here too that a little bit a little bit clear shape not a lot, but it's a little bit from place to place like that. Okay. Now I'm going to set a little color to little details to the beach here. A little bit closer. Now I'm going to set a little bit details like that. There you go. Okay, now the ocean is, has enough information. Now I'm going to start painting the main object. Now I'm first going to paint the blue color for the shirt. Yeah, take a look. I'm going to combine these two blue color together. And this should be dark enough. Let's start with this. Okay, take a look. Where's the area? Right here, coming down to here. Okay, I'm going to take a look right here. And here you go. Okay. And then the sleeve right over there. Okay. Now coming down, I'm going to make a little bit darker color for the skirt by having the red and the blue color together. Okay, that's good. A little bit more blue. That's good. Okay, coming down here. Skirt come all the way come down a little bit lower here. Here you go. That's the shape. Like that. Now I'm going to have a little bit brown color. Okay. So let's get the red and this color together. Okay, this should be a good value. Now I'm going to take a look here. And here you go. Okay, this leg right here. Look before you do it. Like that, that's good. I'm going to add some reflection a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to come to uh, the arm. Just a little bit over here on this side. And change the direction. That's good. And here you go. Now take a look at the head. And the head is just a darker color. I'm going to come back with a little bit darker for the head over here. Here you go. That's good. Let's take a look, close look. Uh-huh, I'm going to make the head even bigger. Like that. That's good. And then I'm going to have a little bit line over here. In the ocean. I'm also going to set this shape a little bit bigger. Like that. Reorganize it. Now I'm going to add a little tiny, tiny line and a little bit more purplish, tiny line. Start from 
here, all the way coming through. There you go. There you go, coming all the way over here. That's good. That's good organized. And now this painting is finished.